Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. A raging wildfire in Northern California has killed two firefighters and forced tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. The fires in Shasta County are being sucked up by strong winds to form fire tornadoes that are uprooting trees and overturning cars, fire officials say. The blazes, known as the car fire, have destroyed at least 500 structures and are threatening thousands of homes. Firefighters are battling the blaze, which is only 5% contained so far. The wildfire began on Monday and has scorched over 48,000 acres, 194 square kilometers, of land, an area larger than the city of San Francisco. We are seeing fire whirls, literally what can be described as a tornado, California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, CAL FIRE, Chief Ken Pimlot told reporters. This fire was whipped up into a whirlwind of activity by gale force winds, he said, uprooting trees, moving vehicles, moving parts of roadways. These are extreme conditions, we need to take heed and evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. Two firefighters, Fire Inspector Jeremy Stoke, and a bulldozer operator who has not yet been named, died trying contain the blaze. Three people, a great-grandmother and her two great-grandchildren, are currently missing, the San Francisco Chronicle reports. What are fire whirls? Fire whirls, also known as fire tornadoes, are spinning vortexes of air, ash, and fire they form when rising hot air begins to rotate and forms a vortex that picks up flammable gases and burning debris vegetation fire whirls typically only last a few minutes but can be very dangerous because they can move quickly they can reach dozens of meters in height, with core temperatures as high as 1,090C. About 37,000 residents have been forced to leave the area. One local, Liz Williams, found herself and her two children stuck in traffic as people rushed to evacuate. She eventually fled by foot. I've never experienced something so terrifying in my life, she told AP News Agency. I didn't know if the fire was just going to jump out behind a bush and grab me and suck me in, 